Hello, welcome to gagrul.net. This is Gagrul live on YouTube and Facebook on my profile this time. So wherever you are, you could see it and we're going to publish it all over the place. Today we have again Harut Sasunian, the publisher, writer and journalist, top Armenian intellectual. And so let me run this this video and then we'll come and talk. Again, Thank so you, so what? What have this man to say, do that Armenia will wake up from the coma? Well, <laughs> the sad thing is, it doesn't look like it. No matter what he says, what he does, and he's doing this on a daily basis. But our people are still in a coma; they're not waking up. And my biggest fear is that. Finally, when we lose everything, Artsakh and Armenia, and the Turkish soldiers enter Yerevan and knock on the people's doors, only then they're going to wake up, but, but then it's too late to wake up. Can you say that in Armenian? I Yes, I have a question about the Christ Tumpiri Meche, Chen Artanum, the Bakanum or Arsaha Yab Hayastan or Sene at Yapur Turkagan Zimbora, Kai Yerevan Madi, Tage, Hayeriduna, Dantura, Ejamanak, Short Artan Artanaluye, but Ejamanak Artin Shadushe. So uh, I was just looking here, uh, this this man, I was going to say that, but he's doing this. Na his name is, I'm sure you know, Igor Ghazarian. He's talking to the military. He's saying, it's your job to defend the border. It's a constitutional job that you go defend the border, both internally and externally. So finally, somebody's sending message to the military that you got to intervene. Your thought, Hayrenov. Well, I Azerbaijani Panaga Madav Ayasani Hussain Nurkun Harabain Arevelian Sahman and Ners Motasnergu Kilometer, Ye Pavagan Line Darats Kravetsin, Ye Mekdari Aveli, Azeri Panaga Nestele, Ayasani Sahman Neris Ners, Ye Boshmian Barshabed, Vorum Bardagan Tune, Sahmaner Bashmanel. 
ոչ մի այն վարճավետը ոչ մի պան չի անում, որպեսի ետ մղի այդ ազերի զիմորները, այլ նույնիս ատմեսին նույնիս չի խոսում։ Հիմա ասենք, թե չի գարող ուժը չունի ետ մղելու, այդի մի հարց է, ա� Բայց ինգը երբ եք չի խոսում, որ ազերին է սամաներից ներսեն եբ պետք է թուրս կան։ Նույն պանա անում է մեր կերիների վերապերիալ, որ բակվում նստում են, չարճարում են իրենց, դանչում են ամենոր։ Կերիների մասին էլ, ամե� Սիմներ բիճակը ահրելի է, շատ բատ է։ Սո հիս հիս լտրելի դստրոյնք պիս բայ պիս այն այդ հիս այն այդ հիս այն հիս այն այդ այդ հիս այն այդ 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 ա� And, and people are publishing articles that he wrote as a journalist, where he wrote in his own words that Artsakh is a burden on Armenia. Yeah. And the sooner we get rid of Artsakh, the better we will live. So this man has not kept a secret of his intentions, of his thinking. He said this, he's written this many times, Nobody paid attention, and when, when he started marching, the people hated the former leader so much that they uh, just uh, followed him blindly, thinking that he's going to save Armenia, he's going to turn Armenia into paradise. But uh, just the opposite happened. Uh, every promise is given. He has uh, reneged on it, has not kept it, and he keeps saying all sorts of crazy things, contradictory things. He says one thing in the morning, he says the opposite uh, in the evening, the next day the same thing, and constantly reversing himself. So no one can believe a word of what he says. And no, he doesn't consult with anybody, he doesn't forget about consulting the diaspora, forget about consulting experts, consulting the opposition, consulting the people which he promised. He doesn't even listen to his own party leaders in parliament, the ministers, the, uh, the president, the deputy prime ministers. He listens to nobody. He just gets up. Whatever comes to his head, he says it. Whatever comes to his head, he does it. Okay, so... One-man so, rule. There's yeah. no democracy. So, uh, yeah, the other day I had an interview with Haik Martirosian. We had lots of things, some agree with him, some I disagree. But he was saying, your diaspora doing nothing. I said, well, we're coming, building bridges. He says, that's, that's uh, not good. You guys are not putting pressure on the government saying we give this money, but you have to do this. I said, because we don't have any political leverage. He said, why don't you ask for political leverage? So what is your answer, Hayrenov? Հայրենով ասեմ, որ իրասածը ժիշտ չէ, ես իրեն հարկում եմ, բայց իրասածը ժիշտ չէ, սպիրկը թշպաղթապար ոչ մի ծև չունի ժնշելու Հայաստանի իշխանդներին վրա, և այդ մարդիկը, ես էլ այդ մարդուսում եմ օգտությունը չենք ուղարգելու, իշխանդույներ իրենց հոգը չի, կասեն մի ուղարգեք, որ դեր օգտությունը այդ թեղորակ, որ ուղարգում ենք, մեր խեր ժողորդի գյանքը պրգելու ամար է, ոչ է իշխանությունները, � Եվ այդ ոտնավով գարող է ոյն դեղ գնա։ Բայց խեր ժողորդը չունի ոչ ոտնա, ոչ ալ գարողություն, ոչ մի դեղ գնա, բիտի գնա հիվանդանոց, գամբիտի մահանա, գամբիտի պուժվի։ 
մենք վարյան չունենք, այլ ընդրանք չունենք, որ ժողորդին չոգնենք և ժողորդը մահանա, որդև ժողորդը մնայուն է, միշտ է տեղ է, իշխանությունները այս � He's saying, why are you looking for a victim? Jehovah, they're the one who elect me and I'm doing whatever I want. So the Jehovah is to be blamed. Well, uh, as usual, he's uh, not telling the truth. Jehovah, out of the hatred of the previous ones, chose him because they're so scared that if he goes, the previous leaders will come. And that's something that Pashinyan harps on constantly, scares the people out of their wits. And uh, also, Pashinyan constantly talks about that he has the mandate of the people. Yeah. People did not give him all of the things that he's doing. People didn't say, turn over Artsakh to, to the enemy. People didn't tell him, go and sign a a peace treaty with with uh, Turk uh, with Turkey and open the border and make concessions, sign a peace treaty with Azerbaijan. People didn't give him any of those mandates. He's just making it up. He's just uh, exploiting his authority, his position, for his personal gain, not monetary gain, but for his uh, power gain. Well, we we talked about this. He t keep talking Jovurt, but there is not a single person from Jovurt for four years in his government. It's all the same thugs who overthrow the government are ruling the things. And but he keeps saying Jovurt, Jovurt, and people are buying it. Well, we all, we all remember we all remember when Pashinyan stood up in the main square in front of the Marriott, and when there were over hundred thousand people gathered four years ago. And he clearly told them, we all remember his words. He said, I will not make any decisions without com coming to you. You will gather here. I will bring it to your uh, attention. You will decide, and I'll do what you decide. Yeah. That's what he yeah. said, very seriously. But it's been now four years later, he has never once asked a single person in Armenia for his opinion, advice, suggestion, he hasn't consulted anybody. He hasn't asked anybody. He just does whatever he wants. Uh, forget the Joe Award. He doesn't even consult his own political party members, the, the people that are closest to him. He doesn't consult them. He just one man. He decides everything. He decides mechanism for the judges, for the parliament, for the president, for the ministers. The foreign ministers, after the war, two foreign ministers resigned one after another. Why? Foreign ministers had no idea what Pashinyan is promising foreign leaders, what decisions he's taking. He never even, not only he doesn't consult them, not even ask them for their expert opinion. He doesn't even tell them after he's uh, taken the decision. As yeah. you recall, That's... the previous president of Armenia, he said that he read in the next day's newspapers the agreement that Pashinyan signed the night before. The yeah. prime minister didn't even have the courtesy to call the president. Forget about asking for advice to even afterwards, after signing it, to tell him, to let him know so the president of the country doesn't read in the newspapers something as serious as capitulating to the enemy such large uh, parts, uh, regions of, of Artsakh. He's hiding be behind, he created this massive police hiding and behind the barricade and he doesn't even do news conference or any of that. He doesn't care because he doesn't he just hiding or behind it says, ah, Jovur, Jovur, Jovur. Well, the, uh, <clears throat> he's, he sees that there's a lot of complacency, uh, carelessness among the people. Whenever they uh, stick a camera in front of the Armenians in, in Yerevan, they ask, what is your opi opinion about this or that issue? They say, I have no opinion. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not interested in politics. I don't care. And I always uh, tell these people: Listen, if you're not interested in politics, as they say in Armenian, politics will be uh, interested in you. And will. And then if you don't go to a vote, and 50% of the registered voters 
not 50% of the population, but 50% of registered voters did not go to vote last uh, June. Yeah. So if you don't go to a vote, then others go, who go to a vote, they vote instead of you. They're the ones who decide for you. You have nothing to say anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare Armenian nation is facing. And I really don't know. The diaspora are in, co in coma. And uh, I mean, I can, every day I say this about this pan-Armenian pan crap, you know. Uh, probably Pashinyan created this pan-Armenian because they, nobody, nobody come out and say anything. Uh, uh, you're right. Uh, I agree with you. There's a total uh, silence, both in Armenia and the diaspora. And the only ones who are active are the Azeris and the Turks. Yeah. And they see that they have the power. They, they, they see that they have in front of them a defeated, a crushed... Uh, uh, Armenian leader who is more than willing to cons make concessions yeah. on every Turkish and Azeri demand and they're not going to stop here. They're no. going to keep pushing it, keep asking for more concessions. Yeah. They will never say, no, we have enough. We took enough from Armenians. We killed enough Armenians. The, 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 there's never enough for, for Turkey and Azerbaijan. They will continue until they completely wipe out from the face of the earth Artsakh and Armenia. Yeah, this is what we're saying is, where is the red line? There is no red line. Manchinian keeps talking about that he has a peace agenda. You can't hear him. Well, how can you have peace oh, with people? One second. Or... Can you hold? Chesla sir? No. I don't know. Chesla uh, sir? Can you talk, uh, Harut? Yeah. I, yeah, hello? Yeah. Can you talk, uh, Harun? Yeah. But I hear here. What do you mean you don't? I can't hear anything. Yeah, well, I don't know. Okay, go on my computer. Uh, well, I, that's okay. I, I I don't know. Like, she came said the, they don't hear you, so I... But I, I, I have a computer, another one, I... I run, I hear you. Maybe you can turn on your Facebook, see if you hear it on your Facebook page. Okay, can you now talk? I'll see. Yeah, you. yeah. hi, I'm, I'm talking now. Yeah, I hear on Facebook. Hopefully we didn't waste our time talking. Uh, I don't think so. Um, even... Uh, um, Yeah, it's it's working. So I don't know. Can you hear uh, yourself on Facebook? Um, see, let's. I'm gonna just bring the YouTube and see if it's YouTube works. Let's see here. Uh, can you talk now? Yeah. Hi, let's uh I'm still here and let's continue. Okay. Can you hear uh, yourself on Facebook? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know YouTube and Facebook. So I don't know where Yeah. Okay, okay let's continue. All right. Let's see what happened. If worse come to worse we could do again. All right. Um so I was uh uh, always hoping because every time I travel in Ar Armenia uh, on young people they would change but this trip I just bump into a couple of those young ones they are really same as those old ones they blame uh, all you talk I keep saying to him let's talk about Pashinya what he did or this no he says pa um, he says Kochari and Sarkisian they took millions of dollars from from Azerbaijan, they brought Pashinyan to blame it on Pashinyan. This is their mentality. You know, it's it's uh, constantly nonsense conspiracy theories that they believe in. Uh, it's just uh, complete ig ignorance, and, and nobody bothers to check any facts. <clears throat> they just accuse, but they accuse everybody, not just yeah. and Sarkisian. They also make up fake stories about Pashinyan. Uh, I mean. 
I, I tell people you don't have to make any fake stories. If you just tell the truth, the truth is bad enough. Yeah. Why well, invent stories? Well, you know, like Canada is 40 million people, about roughly. The prime minister has 150 people staff in his in office. Pashinyan has 450. Imagine they're all sitting in there blackmailing people and doing like creating fake Facebook stuff and 450 why is 3 million people prime minister need 450 people well that's not the worst part the worst part is he doesn't listen to a single one of them yeah they're all sitting there getting salary and getting bonuses every month and uh, doing nothing because first of all they're appointed by Pashinyan they're not qualified for these positions and secondly if one of them says something intelligent by mistake Pashinyan is going to ignore their advice so the yeah. whole thing is useless. Yeah. Um, and in terms of the diaspora, let me just add one more thing. The diaspora armies, unfortunately, have neither the ability to vote in Armenia's elections, nor they have a, they're, they're able to get a position in Armenian government. Uh, by law, they, they cannot assume high level positions. And by law, they're uh, prevented from voting. So if you don't have a vote, you have no say in Armenia. If you don't have a position, you cannot make any decisions. So you're powerless. Yes. And this, this is the same thing that uh, the Turks constantly say, oh, there's a powerful uh, Armenian diaspora, especially in the United States. They influence the uh, government in Armenia. They were, they're uh, undermining the good relations between Armenia and Turkey. Uh, well, uh, it's a good thing that the Turks think so highly of the diaspora power and uh, let them continue thinking that. But the reality is far from the, from that. The truth is far from that. And uh, we don't have that kind of influence. I wish we did. Yeah. Yeah, well, there are uh, some of the political parties blaming diaspora, saying you're not doing, you're doing nothing, he says. You know, this is... Uh, uh, My answer is all of us, all Armenians, all 10 million of them have to do something. There's no excuse for doing nothing. Whether you live in diaspora, you live in Armenia, or in Artsakh, or in Moscow, no matter where you are, as an Armenian, you owe it to your nation, to your blood, to, to do whatever you can, no matter how little it is, but do something. I mean, it's heartbreaking to, to watch this one village after another village. I mean, it's going, Pashinyan even telling them, well, of course, when I Pashinyan, I say no to himself, he's sending a surrogate, telling them, even as a uh, Artsakh president, make sure not even one brick you take from the home. Don't burn it at home. Leave it in good shape. Oh, because maybe someday we go back. I mean, imagine is this stupidity, you know? I mean, why there is no somebody has some brain in their head? I mean, it's yeah. heartbreaking. That, that's the biggest uh, issue these days uh, in Armenia, Artsakh, and particularly in Artsakh, because those, those three villages are in Artsakh. And uh, these poor people who have homes, the only homes they have, they have no other home. And they're given till August 25th, yeah. that's two weeks from now, <laughs> to leave their homes. <coughs> and the government is telling them, don't you dare to burn the house before you leave give it intact as a gift to the Azeris, conquerors uh, and the criminals. And if you burn your house, we're not going to give you any compensation. We're yeah. not going to give you another house. Yeah. Well, so for... Each family is supposed to get $24,000 if, if they do not burn their house. Uh, Go figure it's, that out. It's, it's just mind boggling. Uh, first of all, $24,000 doesn't buy you a house anywhere in Artsakh or in Armenia. There are no houses in Artsakh, and Armenia houses are much more expensive than. All that. right, Arut. Seems to me they're saying uh, it's not it's not working. So let's just stop here, and uh, uh, we'll be in about half an hour. Then we'll fix it, and then we'll come back. We'll see what what is going on. So let let's put this in hold for a second. We'll be can back. You, can you play it back and see if it? Well, it's on. Uh, that's why I have to stop it to 